Startling and Druid are two of the strongest towers in Battles 2, but you rarely see them paired together. But today, I will pair them and show you how strong they can be in unison. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are against Broco here on the map of Banana Depot with the strategy bomb sub and farm. So it should be a fun one. Looks like they're starting with their tax shooter right there. All right, start with my bomb right here. And yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good, ladies and gentlemen. All right, extra range. We'll be able to get um, freaking frag bombs here in a second as well. Nice. We should be full vibe in here. Should be full vibe. And I'm excited for the video today. I'm excited to get some matches for you guys. Get some dub skis, hopefully. And just vibe along. You know what I'm saying? Vibe along. We'll get the um start setting up for my what's it called? Cluster bombs here now. Hopefully we'll get that in. Ooh. Do I just stop eco here to get it? Okay, yeah. Yeah, we're chilling. They got their pat down. Wait, they're going pat with attack. That's actually very interesting. So pat, attack, wizard maybe? I, I normally think that um Quincy or Zeely is just a better option there, but I guess they might go on pat, attack, wiz. Okay, let's see if I can fit, fit my farmer and my balloon bot in the secret spot here, guys. Secret spot. Let's see if we can fit both of them here. Oh, come on. I'm trying to place as much to the left as, po as possible. All right, I think that's the most to the left I can. Oh, look at it. Look at it. I just did it. I just did it. I'm the best player in the game. Give me my W's in my chat down below, guys. Give me some W's in the comment section for that. We got the double placement. I'm just so good at the game right now. Okay, let's get my farm down. Perfect. You sending me pink balloons. These are going to sting a little bit. I probably should get bigger bombs here. All right, now with bigger bombs, these won't hurt that much. Are they going to get their merchantmen up this round? Can they even afford? They didn't even afford it. That's not very good for them. Send some whites. Force the blade shooter. Take it. Get my uh thing down. Perfect. And now I'll start saving up to upgrade my farm. Now we'll start saving up for these farm upgrades. Increase production. Nice. I don't really think I could force a um, second attack upgrade with white balloons and black balloons just because they have a boat down and they have pad as their hero. So they've got quite a bit of defense here. They also missed their round five merchantmen as well. So they got around six merchantmen for the first one, which is kind of trash. I'm not going to lie. They're, um, they missed out on a lot of merchantmen income there. They did miss out on a lot. And their boat placements don't look good either, dude, to be honest. Like, you can fit three boats in there pretty easily, but they've placed them, like, in the very center of the pond. So it's... I don't... I think they're only going to fit two with their placements. So, we'll see, though. You will see. Should be able to get this plantation up here pretty soon. Which will be nice for farming-wise. One more income boost, I'll get the plantation up. This defends space purples. It doesn't defend um space or region zebras too well, but those aren't available soon yet, so we're chilling. And I, against region zebras, I can also use biker ability to buy me some time. That's also another another option. Yeah, mortar. Okay, so it's tack, mortar, boat with pat. Why would you bring? I'm not even gonna question it. Not even gonna question it, chat. We'll, we'll let him cook. We'll let this man cook. And see how he does. Get my submarine down right here. Perfect. Submerge that bad boy. Spaced rainbows. My eco is phenomenal right now. They go for a ring of fire. Oh my gosh. Oh my good golly gracious. I haven't seen that upgrade in a while. We'll boost this. Send me some camo ceramics. Those can be a little scary, not gonna lie. Against a rerush, I get up a um, reactor door. Alright, we're chilling. And now we'll just max eco. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to rush the um, Ring of Fire on this map. No shot. Because if I send, like, purples or something, the Mortar will just pop the purple layer, right? And they have Pad and stuff to pop purple layer as well. So they'll be fine against any rush um, for the moment. Their strategy will struggle a lot to 
They don't have like any DDT defense, but yeah, we'll see. But Pat's good at knocking back like, Moabs and stuff, especially in that ring. So I'm not sure if Moabs are worth. The ZMG might be a worthwhile send though. The ZMG in round 22 might be worthwhile. Yeah, I'm just gonna float the money for a Mauler. In case he sends. Yeah, he does send. We're chilling. Strong again. Uh, the second Moab should not do anything, really. If I defended the first one, fine. Yeah, it didn't. If there's a second obstacle, if he sends fortified Moabs, I can boost against it with two um, clusters. Boost. Oh! Oh man! Okay. Um, <laughs> I almost choked that. I almost choked that chat. Alright. That was not very good. Not how you ideally defend that, but um, you know, we survived at the end of the day. That was, that was a clutch and a half with this um, balloon impact. I had to remove the obstacle too, dude. I was like, I was ready for it. Holy cow. We'll sell that now. They're sending more. I'm just going to go for a um, balloon impact right here. This is a much better impact spot. This is where I normally have it, but... Yeah, this should be able to clean up the ceramics pretty well. It's also impacting them inside of the range of the reactor. So the reactor is like putting in some work too, which is nice. I should be fine against this. We'll get one more bomb to a cluster and now we'll use double damage here. Yeah, that defends pretty well. And the second BFB should not be an issue either. They're sending in like two. Can we defend these? Let's go for a um, ballistic here. I think this just defends my current defense, to be honest. Yeah, we're full chill in here. The ballistics helps out a lot against the ceramics and it does some de decent mob damage. All right, send them some ZMGs. See if they can defend. They use Pat Hug on one. Fair enough. Oh, balloon boost this. We sent them four ZMGs. I doubt they defend, but there's a chance. They go for an artillery battery, but the thing is they have Pat and not Biker. Okay, they're countering. This counter shouldn't do anything, though. We'll go for a um, recursive on my side. All right, they'll be able to defend those Moabs, I think. Oh. No, they're good. They're good. They're good. I should be fine against these BFBs on my side. I've already popped them down. Double damage. Stun. Chilling. All right. Yeah, we're good. I didn't even have to boost it, chat. No boost needed. I assume there are some DTs, so we're going to get some of these up. All right, we're good. GG's. I'll catch y'all next one. Who let bro cook? I'm sorry for letting you cook, bro. You made the wrong recipe. All right, for the last match of the video, we are against Sofran Zanzo on the map of um, Oasis with the strategy Dartling, Druid, and Village. So it should be a fun one here. We will start with my uh, Dartling Gunner here in the bottom of the map. We're starting with our Dartling as well. Fair enough. And yeah, the strategy is actually, it's one of the best strategies in the entire game, late game. But um, thing is, defending like round 13 and stuff can be very difficult, especially because we brought Oban here. I maybe should have brought like Pat. 
Pat probably would have been a better option here, just because Pat would help me out round 13 so much. We'll probably have to play decently low eco to afford my defense that I need, but that's okay. And we'll get my Oban down as soon as possible here. Drop place. Drop place Oban. Right here is a fine spot. Kind of waited too long to place it, but we're chilling. I kind of wanted to place in a spot where the totem is going to be placed in this intersection, if that makes sense. I want that totem to be placed in that intersection so it can hit the balloons at two points. It's kind of important. But I waited super long to place it, so now I'm leaking a bunch, which wasn't good. Powerful darts. Alright, we should be vibing now. We should eventually stop chasing. Yep, we're good. We're good. We're chilling. Let's keep Eco in here. We'll keep Max Eco in and then um, we'll send in some greens on round five. Be the plan. I think greens will be able to force a, um, what's it called? Greens will be able to force a powerful darts in their end, which is going to be really good for me. Those, oh, it's also placed my farm on Bloombot. I'm kind of out of it right now, guys. I'm sorry. Let me focus up. Let me focus up. I'm kind of out of it. Oh, man. Greens. Should force the powerful arts on their end. Let's also target this, um, Grambles all the way to the back. Look at this targeting. You can get all the way back here. Like that. And that'll hit the balloons. Exactly what I'm looking for. Nice. Try to stall this round a little bit. Don't pop those blue balloons. Perfect. Should actually be able to get a solid eco here because I'm facing Darling Farm Ice, so these rounds are going to get stalled a lot. Which is exactly what I'm looking for. A nice stall on these rounds. Switch over to Space Blocks. Perfect. They use Ice Powder, let's throw out another Brambles. Nice. We'll send yellows now. So for... Hmm. He's sending me blacks now. I don't really want to upgrade this to faster barrel spin if I don't have to. So we're going to go for a second dartling instead. This should be able to defend. This should be able to defend. Throw it on the brambles again. We're vibing. My eco is actually very, very good here. That round got stolen a lot. Okay, perfect. Upgrade this. Start saving up for an HRP. If he's going to be zebras next round, I'll need to upgrade the second dartling. So we'll see how it says. This should be on strong now, probably. For zebras. Okay, it's enemy zebras. Go for a second dartling upgrade. Send me regions. Chillin'. I'll stop equaling right there. How much is so for? 1200. I'd like to keep one of my dartlings up while getting up my HRP just to help me out defensively. So, we'll play it pretty safe here. There we go. Now that I have two of these up, I'm pretty safe against rushes, to be honest. This will defend rushes decently well. Ooh, the downside of putting my uh, totem here, though, is it gets broken easily. Maybe I should have just kept my totem target in the back, to be honest. The totem's not going to stay up very easily since pretty much all the balloons hit it. Um, even if it's just like AI or eco balloons. I didn't think about that. That's not going to do anything. I'll even I'll just get a laser shock up though just to be safe. But that's not gonna force a boost or anything on me. Awesome. 
Um, I do want to make sure I'm good against rushes, so I am going to go for a druid. And this can be selling power as well. Put some strong. We'll just go for bo jungle's bounty on this real quick. Because this will be selling power against rushes as well. So, it's kind of dual purpose druid. Some money man, some money and selling power. So we'll go for one of these. This will be also be my, um, what's it called? My spirit of the force later in the match. All right, let's keep Max Eco now. This will be giving me $1,000 per income. And thing is that Jungle's Bounty is going to be $200 cheaper in the um, next update as well. It's $3,000 right now for the upgrade, but it's going to be $2,800 after the update. So they buffed it. Target my Brambles right there now, so then I can hit some anti more Brambles. Kind of important. It is low-key important. We'll eventually have to try to get my druid leaks in for three druids. I don't like that I leaked down to 85 lives. I honestly should have been a lot more careful early game because it's going to be hard to get a lot of druid leaks in without dying. My eco's good though. No complaints there. Got a solid eco. All right, get that up as well. Start to target my dartlings away and try to leak some of these lives. Oh my gosh, I'm the best. I just got basically my entire druid buff right there. Wow, I'm really... Okay, that's crazy. Actually, how I just did that. That's actually crazy. I don't expect to do it just like that. And I would have leaked more if I didn't leak down to 85 at the very start there. Kind of made it close because I played early game poorly. We'll get this um, Monkey Town up here pretty soon. Don't know if it's better to go for Monkey Town for like more eco or if it's better to go for... um, What's it called? It could also be better to go for Druid Farms. Maybe after the update it will change because after the update obviously there will be... Get hard to thunder up. After the update, there will be cheaper druid farms. Hard of thunder. They're leaking and leaking. They need to be careful there. Druid of storm. I'll have to get this bowl of lightning here, probably. Do I have to boost this? Probably not. I can target trees. I don't even need to use bowl of lightning. Holy cow, dude. Tornado Druid OP, especially with Dartling. Tornado Druid to Dartling combination, crazy. Here I just get up Spear of the Forest. How much to sell for? 5k. 5k plus 7.5k. 12.5k. Let's just stop Econ. These trees should fill up, which gave, gave me money as well. We should be able to shred this once I get Spear of the Forest up, because this is a life buff Spear of the Forest as well, so it's like extra damage. Oh, I got the wrong cross path on this. I just noticed. This is supposed to be an Avatar of Wrath late game, and I got the top cross path. I'm so bad at this game, dude. I'll be honest. I kind of threw there. My Avatar of Wrath is not going to be near a strong late game now. We're good. That's just Spear of the Forest for you. That was a fortified ZMG and I killed it in like barely any with the barely any map left. Monkey pop monkey um city, nice. Spear of the Forest is receiving a nerf in the update though. It's going from twenty to thirteen damage, I think. So that will be a pretty significant nerf, but I still think it's gonna be good. Target these trees. Throw those down. For DDTs, I'm going to need a uh, Monkey Intelligence Bureau, so I'll be ready to get that up.
Wait, no, I can't use these because I have Spear of the Forest. Excuse me. Yeah, we're chilling. Let's get Monkey Opus up. Perfect. More Pop Lusts. That's five stacks. This is four. Five K Eco. I'll probably stop Eco in here pretty soon. I would have liked to go for the thing is I hated how um on the ability s side it doesn't separate the Spirit of the Forest ability and the um jungle bounties ones because I can't just like get jungle bounties up and use the abilities a ton because then I'll use the Spirit of the Forest one and I'll get lives and then I'll lose my life buffs and that's not what I want obviously so it's little rough for that reason it separates them with dark knights and dark champions so i don't know why it doesn't separate them with druids when the abilities do different things throw on the oh, i shouldn't have thrown on the trees in the back in all honesty the trees in the back aren't really going to do anything i would have been able to make some money if i threw them down in the front i think the next thing we want is an ma is an mad or I probably want an Avatar of Wrath next, to be honest, if I had the correct cross path. Avatar of Wrath would definitely be the best next thing to get if I had the correct cross path on it. But since I don't, I don't know how important it is in the list of upgrades to get. Because I need Spear of the Four, I need Avatar of Wrath, I need Super Storm, I need MAD. There's like a bunch of things that I'll need to get up. But I don't know what specific order is going to be the best. We'll stop right there on Eco. I can afford MAD. I don't even have jungle drums on it though. Now we do. <clears throat> and then obviously like you have home and defense and stuff as well. So it's, I don't know. I think super storm is important to get though. So we'll start save up for super storm. Is that a Superstorm? I could just target everything at the BD layer, and then obviously Superstorm's gonna clean up insides. He's sending me an all out. Wait as long as possible, get Superstorm up. Put this on strong, Superstorm. Perfect. I haven't boosted yet, by the way, as well. I have not boosted. We'll get my Avatar Wrath up here pretty soon. We'll boost. Avatar of Wrath. I don't even need Homeland here, I'm pretty sure. I think we just defend. It's my defense. Homeland is only for like extremely late scenarios. Because you don't want to spend money microing something like crazy, you know what I mean? We got we got Call to Arms if he sends me like all DTs. But I think we're chilling. We have boost back as well. Yeah, we defend that easily. With the wrong Avatar Wrath cross path as well, dude. This could be a good strategy next season. It could be a good strategy next season. I'll definitely um play around with it more. We'll send him some um ceramics. Oh wait, region doesn't do anything after round 30. They're just gonna be dead here. They go for Plasma Accelerator. They might actually defend. They might actually defend. Nicely done. Gotta give it to them. They defended that. Well done. Let's well, send them a BAD though. There's not, they're not defending a BAD in a new world. In a new world that I live in. 
But yeah, I think if like I was struggling really hard to the rush, maybe I don't buy Avatar of Wrath and I just get off bomb. Homeland defense with that money. And then I boost in homeland defense and that shreds everything. That could have been an option too. I definitely need to play around and see what the best like order of operations with these tower upgrades are late game. Yeah. There's quite a bit of things you need. But once you have them, dude, you're like so strong. GG's. Well, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, please hit the like button, subscribe with your board. It makes a little difference to me. But Rhyme Mike out. Peace, lads.